Welcome to The Daily Show. Thank you, sir. Let me start with the most important thing. Congratulations, not just on the 13 nominations for the show, but the three that you have received personally. 13 Emmy nominations. <laughs> that is, uh... That's a pretty big deal. Yeah, it's good also because it's, it's a number I like. It's you know, if you're not going to get 666, that's 666, you want 13. You want the 13? Yeah. It feels like, I mean, like, it's a show about bad luck that is, a, like, turning into good luck for you. I yeah. mean, the show Russian Doll, you know, swept everybody. I remember everyone saying to me, they're like, have you watched Russian Doll? You gotta watch Russian Doll. And then everyone would spoil it for me by telling me to watch it, but they're not gonna spoil it. They'd be like, it's yeah. about this person, and she dies every day. But I'm not gonna tell you what happened, but she dies every day. <laughs> and she comes back every day. <laughs> like, the, the show really connects with people, even though it's dark, and then sometimes it's funny, and then sometimes it's really dramatic and sad. Why do you think people love the show this much? <sighs> well, first of all, I mean, it's overwhelming, because, you know, you work so hard, and uh, just the idea that you're, like, so meticulously right. constructing and writing it, and trying to Easter egg it everywhere, the idea that people are seeing that is huge. It's a revolutionary. As a, an, a, a creator, you know, it feels... Uh, it's a very warm, nice thing. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's just... We're in a crazy time, you know, in this country, and... Uh, I think that, you know, we really tried to tell the truth the best way we could and um, to talk about big ideas right, and right, sort right. of uh, the heart of the matter. And so I think, um, uh, you know, maybe that that sort of accounts for some of the response to it is that we're hungry for that kind of storytelling in this moment. It is interesting how, like, your character travels through this journey where, you know, in the first episode, I remember watching, and she's very just like, yeah, yeah. whatever's happening is yeah, happening. Yeah, I call that my pesci. Yeah. My pesci Is that your pesci yeah. move? Yeah, yeah, it's very, like, you know? Yeah. And, then, and then it becomes, like, you know, at first it's frustration, and then it becomes, like, a deeper search, search for meaning. Yeah. You know, it seems like what we all have as human beings. Yeah. I feel like that's what I've watched you do as a fan of yours in life. Ah, oh, thanks. No, so. genuinely, because I, I remember, like, I fell in love with your acting in American Pie. That's when I first fell in yeah. love with you. Yeah, that was my big deep dive. <laughs> right. No, really. <laughs> your humor, your acting, the, just, like, the way you, 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 you come across on camera, and what's changed in your roles is you still have that humor, you still have that charisma, but, like, everything that you touch seems to have a deeper meaning. You know, you have that with Russian Doll, and Orange is the New Black, talks about such big ideas, addiction, you know, belonging, you know, like the way we treat people who are in prison, being a woman. You know, do you feel your life translating into your work or do you think your work is affecting your life? Uh, first of all, I'm very flattered and humbled by that question. Uh, thank you. Um, I, I do think that there's... I've always had a sort of philosophical leaning. It's a reason I deeply admire Gen G's work and right. the opportunity to do Orange is the New Black and... Uh, getting to direct there as well. I mean, it's been a really uh, sort of all the things that uh, I care about, but they sort of... I guess I'm just getting older. Like, the morning of uh, the, uh, those Emmy nominations came in and I was reading a book to try to distract myself. And as soon as, like, a text message came through with the good news, I felt my eyes go a little fuzzy, like my body relaxed and said, get some bifocals. Take it easy, kid. <laughs> you know? The war is over. It's uh, lean into aging and, you know, go with brains. Good luck. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I mean... don't know. You dismiss it. I think everybody gets older, but not everybody gets wiser, and that's what you've done. The show is amazing. Your acting is amazing. I'm excited to see what else you're going to create. Thank you so much Thank for being on the Thank you so much. Wonderful having you. Orange is the New Black and Washington Doll are available on Netflix right now. Natasha Leone, everybody.